Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? My Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. And you? I'm fine. February 3rd. Right, we already third already. Let's see, Anna. Anna, no, here, Anna Lisa. Carolina, present teacher. Mauricio? Mm -hmm. Edwin Mauricio? Present teacher. Present teacher, Edwin Mauricio. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I confused. <laughs> okay, so now I have Edwin Mauricio and Luis Mauricio. Yes. Now you are two. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Grace Mitchell. Isabel. Present teacher. Alfredo. Present teacher. Juan Jose. Hello, present. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Thanks, Karen. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. We have Present teacher. I go in the transit in my house. Okay, okay, we have that. With Mauricio? Yes, present. <laughs> Marina Vanessa. Present, teacher. Noé David. Noé. Rosa Hilda. Present, teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Teresa. Yuri. Yuri Alexandra. No Yuri here. David. David, David. Present teacher. Voy camino también. Oh, okay. Día de tráfico ahora. No, salida tarde. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Ana Alicia, no here. Grace Michelle. Yes, I am here. Present. Ana Valle de Molina, presente, teacher. Grace Michelle. Grace Michelle. 
No here, Grace Mitchell. Noé David. Noé. No. Teresa de Jesús. Yuri. No, no. Shut boys. Let's begin. First, we're going to make a review of, of what we were learning yesterday. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. I'm going to share it. Okay, yesterday we were talking about can and could. And we were saying that we use can to talk ability, possibility, permission, and to, to ask for information, right? That we use it when we want to be very uh, casual, right? That we use could as past of can when talking about ability or when talking about possibility. But also we use could when we want to ask question and be very formal and polite. Mm -hmm. Okay, any question over here? Which is more polite, can or could? Could. Could. Could is definitely more polite. And remember, as we were saying, that can has more than one meaning, right? Not only ask for permission or ask for something, but also its ability, its possibility, its permission. We also use it to ask for information. I'm going to share an exercise. I'm going to leave you, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to, to do it. And then we will check it together. Okay. Then you go. Remember, use can or could. Complete with can or could. Okay, so go here. let's complete the exercise. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to do it and then we will check.
Teacher, excuse me. Uh, to say the truth, I do I don't understand how you could use can or could in these sentences. Did you read the sentences? Le decía que no entiendo este el uso del Ken y el Kud en esas oraciones porque no le encuentro sentido. My father Ken the violin. Ajá. Ken what? Ken play. Mm. Okay. So you using Ken and Kud and something else that you may need. What is the verb that you need to use? What is the form of the verb and what verb do you need to use? In each exercise, you will need three words. Yeah? You have to use three words. I'm going to add here. Can, could, and upper. Okay. So what verb do you need? So if you say, my father, Can play. Right. My father can play the violin. Oh, my father could play the violin. You want to do it fast. Remember to choose the correct verb, right? To complete each of the cases.
saying? How are you doing over there? Teacher, uh, one question. Oh. Where is the minute to five? In number seven. Number seven. This letter to Faye. Faye is, is a person, can be Maria, can be Juana, can be Lorena, can be any name. Number of the person. It will change you this to the floor. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ready, ready? Yes. Only number two, I didn't understand. Okay. 
Okay, okay, let's see. Are you ready? Are you ready to check? Or you need more time? No. <laughs> One more minute. Ready, ready. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Finish. Okay. Asha. Let's see. The first one, my father can play the violin, right? My mother. I write my mother can retire until she was 40. Could retire. Could retire, okay. The pastor can, right? Could retire until she was 40. Oh, very young. Okay. Let's see, what about number three? Mm -hmm. Can I give you a suggestion? Okay. Or could I? Can or could? Can, ah, you can say can. Can I give you a suggestion? Okay, what about number four? Could you let me be spawned for a moment? Could you let me be for a moment? Yes. What about number five? Mm -hmm. 
you could take it a break now? Could take. You could take a break now. Number. Teacher. En esa también se podría poner you can have a break now. You have a break or you take a break. You have a break now, como tener, tener un descanso. That you take a break. Okay. For example, the ones that have a break eh, are, for example, if you're at school, right? If you're at school, you, you have a break. But we as adults, we can take a break from work. For example, if you say, well, I'm not going to work for, for a week. I'm going to take a break. So I'm going to stop doing something for some time eh, because I need to, to relax a little bit. Yeah. Okay, what about number six? You could come here. You? Juju? Oh, you can come here? You can come here or you could be here. You can be here, right? You can, say you can, be, you can be here. Imagine you are in a, in, a, in, a, in a place and you are not sure if you can or not be there. Right. You can be here. No uh, what about number seven? Could you read this letter for to Faith? Mm -hmm. Could you give? Could you give this letter to Faith or to Flora? Mm -hmm. What about number eight? Would you pass me the file, please? Could you pass me the file? Pass me? Yeah. Could you pass me the file? Number nine? I can do the shopping if you like. What is the difference between do the shopping and go shopping? Que una es ir de shopping y la otra es hacer las compras. You go, when you do the shopping, because you need to, right? It's something that you need for the house. Can be food or can be something to do the laundry. But when you go shopping, it's, it's for fun, right? That's for fun because you want to buy clothes or food or, or shoes. Last one. Number 10. Could Y podría ser por por you serve. Ajá. Could you ser de servir ser ser. Podría eh, <laughs> servirme una taza de café ser, de servir ser. No, I I don't pronounce it. Give me. Or could I offer you a cup of tea? The serve. Okay, ajá, porque dice you, right? No me, no me lo van a dar a mí, sino que yo se lo estoy ofreciendo a alguien. Okay. Okay. Yo voy a pedir un té ahorita. 
Okay, vaya. Can you give me? Or can I give you? Can I give you? Can, or can I prepare you? I could exactly prepare. Can I prepare you a cup of tea? Can I prepare you a cup of tea? This idea? Why not? Okay, of course. Okay. Good. Any questions here? Mm -hmm. yeah. eh, solo una consulta para tenerlo un poco más claro. En las preguntas donde se ocupa el, el cool, se puede ocupar el can. Depende el grado de confianza. Depende del grado de tiene mucha, mucha confianza en el proyecto. Pásame la sal. ¿Ya? Pero si quieres ser un poquito más polite, puede ser. Sí. Esa es la diferencia ahí. En tu paso me resalta. Ya estuve muy formal y muy polite. Por ejemplo, en over I'm going to give a suggestion to somebody who don't know very well, right? So we do, yeah. But if you want to be more formal, you could also use could I can use this. But if you can, how formal you want. Any other question? Teacher, no sé si solo a mí me pasa, pero en el audio se escucha como un ruido feo. Como si fuera un ventilador o algo así. Sí. Hoy no soy yo. que ya, ya están todos calladitos así. Ay, no soy yo, ya ve. <ríe> ok. Allá. Ahí está. Ok. So, remember, I'm going to underline here. I'm sorry si me ven así como que mero slow, me duele la cabeza. Esto de aquí. Y acá. Y el ojo. Así es que. Teacher, since yesterday, ¿verdad? You look like yesterday in the same way. Ah, sí, es cierto. Ayer me dolía la cabeza cuando empecé clase. Ahora, pues al rato se me olvidó. Sí, se me quitó. Pero ahorita me duele, me duele todo. Teacher, y no siente para respirar raro también. Está tapada la nariz. Bien tapada. Debería de tomarse un este, antialérgico, porque yo así estaba ayer y me tomé un antialérgico y me ayudó mucho. Acabo de tomar el equinacio, porque si me tomo ahorita la palagrip, me voy a No, esa no es sueño, no lleva, no lleva nada para sueño. La AM. Ajá, exacto. Así ya voy a pedir que me traigan. Y yo me tomo una, no me tomo la, la, la bolsita completa porque todo es demasiado. Solo me tomo una y sí, ya voy a pedir una. Pues sí, tengo la nariz bien, pero bien tapada. Ya pedí. Y le doy remedio de viejita. Y Vixito no, no le gusta el Vic. Un poco. Pero lo que me van a traer es un, un té de zacate limón. Es. Jengibre. Marca McCormick, por favor. 
McCormick. Se ha ganado una caja. Eso. Oh, mire. Vaya pues. Sí, es McCormick. Ahí tenemos de, de manzanilla, de sacatemón, de menta, de jengibre, de todo. A ver, se ha ganado una mayonesa. mayonesa. Con toda esa dotación. Oh, uh, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Puedo participar. <risa> Podría ser. <risa> Ese té de mayonesa sí le gusta a ese Luis. No. Está rico. No, normalmente, bueno, el que yo consumo es el de, el de mandarina, de los nuevos. Salud. Mandarina y mango. Muy bueno. Por cierto. Buenísimo. Sí. Vaya, mire, aquí está, de más fuerte. Los tres. Y tres me le pusieron. <risa> Está bien, pues. En de lemongrass. That's the lemongrass. El sacate limón. Lemongrass. Right? Camomil. What is camomil? Manzanilla. Manzanilla. Yeah. Yes. And ginger. 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 Ese de jengibre. Que pica. Y no toma nada para como acetaminofén, teacher. Solo así como para ayudarse. Este va a tomar. Ay, no. Vamos a ver. Está la, la farmacia. No, aquí está toda la dotación completa. La acetaminofén me la tomé hace ratito, pero no, no efecto. Si es que no. Vaya, so, can, you, can I prepare you a cup of tea? What would you say? Can I prepare you a cup of tea? Yes, thank you. Yes, please, right? Yes, please. Okay, very good. Bueno, a ver cómo terminamos de aquí al final de la clase. Si despierta o dormida o, o diciendo cosas que no me voy a acordar mañana. No. <laughs> okay, va. Let's see. Do you remember? The last purchase you did? Do you remember? Yes. Purchase. What is purchase? Compras. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Do you remember the last purchase you did? Yes. I remember. What was it? It was some clothes to my daughter. Okay. Were you satisfied? Satisfied or dissatisfied? I was satisfied because I found something in sale. Okay. And that was nice. <laughs> Okay, nice, nice. Good. Another volunteer. How how was your last purchase you did? Yeah. A ver, boys go shopping too, right? Yes. Okay, how was the last purchase you did? Carla Lorena. Uh I don't know how do you say uh, Filipinas, like uh, for medical, for my daughter. Medicine, medicine. 
uh, the blouse. Okay. Were you satisfied with the shopping or dissatisfied? Satisfied. Very really satisfied. Okay, perfect. Anna was satisfied because she found them on sale, right? On sale and they were very good. Okay, let's see, Juan Pablo. How was the last purchase you did? How was the last purchase you did? My last, last purchase was uh, jeans. Okay. And how was it? Was it good? Yes, I satisfied. Were you satisfied or dissatisfied with the choice? Satisfied. Satisfied. You were satisfied. satisfied. Okay. Now, I know some of you uh, sell products. I know some others sell services, right? Now, was the customer, the, think about a customer, or the last customer you attended. Was the customer satisfied or dissatisfied with your product or service, right? Think about the last customer you attended. Today, our clients was unsatisfied with our services because they say because they say that we have to go back to classes uh, pres presential classes they don't understand the situation that we are uh, living or happening i don't know how to say so they were they were uh, unsatisfied they want to go back to classes and yeah, that's unsatisfying. Okay, they were unsatisfied. Okay, so they want to go presential classes, I know. I know that feeling, but we don't want to, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. A ver, Luis. Where is Luis hiding? A ver, Luis Mauricio. Okay. How was because your last client or your last customer today? Was he satisfied or dissatisfied? Mm, the last client. Mm -hmm. I probably, I probably, because she says, um, um how do you say eh, la atención le pareció bien y el producto fue el indicado. the attention was good yeah yes and the product was the, the perfect <laughs> was excellent okay great mm -hmm. let's see somebody else who sells products here judy Y Alexandra. Yuri, Yuri. Yuri, 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 no here. Still on the way. Vamos a ver. Somebody here told me you sell products. Luis Edgardo, right? Luis Edgardo. Hello. Hello. Repeat, please. How was your last client or your last customer today? Was he satisfied or dissatisfied? Yes, the customer satisfied. Why? Uh, was um, satisfied? Um, um, veamos que uh, describe the product uh, well. 
y, y and was kid Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Now, check. I'm going to send you to the manual here. Let's go to the manual. I'm going to show you here, but you go to page 23 in your manual. Yeah. Page 23. Here we have a survey, right, about customer's experience with a product. What you're going to do here in groups, because you're going to go to the rooms, is check what problems are faced, right? Why the customer gave that value to the product, why the customer is satisfied, why the customer is not satisfied, and then give solution to the situation, okay? What are the problems here? What are the problems? Why the customer found the product dissatisfied, poor, very low quality, and this, and he said, no, I won't buy, continue buying that product. Why? And then you will give, after finding the problem, you give a solution to the problem. Okay? And you answer activity three. Read the information again. Here, one more time. How was the customer's experience? Is the product a good one or a bad one? And then think about possible problems the customer had with the product. And of course, to that, I'm adding what solution can we give to the situation? Yes. Okay, I'm going to make groups. I'm going to send you, let me see, you are 15, right? I'm going to send you in groups of three. Ready, ready? Yes. Ready. Ready. Page 23, exercises two and three. Try to join. It is our duty. Este, yo entendí, Rosy, que vamos a hablar de algún producto que nosotros hayamos comprado. De, de un producto que nosotros hayamos comprado. No sé si me escucha, ¿sí? Sí, sí, sí. Vale. Que nosotros hayamos comprado y que nosotros estemos satisfechos o no con el producto. Y si no está satisfecho el producto, describir por qué y encontrar una, una solución. Eso entendí yo. <risa> Pues vamos 50 y 50, lo que hemos entendido. Teacher, help me, please. This is, a, this is a survey. For example, um, when there is a new product or companies want to improve the product, they make a survey, right? So this is an example of a survey. Of, X product. What you're going to do is to analyze the survey and find out what is the problem of the product. Mm -hmm. What is the problem of the product? 
Why do you think the customer is dissatisfied? Why? And then, of course, give a solution to that. Right? Okay. Peter, I'm so sorry. Could you repeat, please? <laughs> okay. Hoy que menos quiero hablar, diga, Tiche. Ay, sí, qué pena. Lo sentimos, Tiche. Cache. Remember, you have a, a, this is a sorbi. ¿Qué es un sorbi? Vamos a ver. Es un sorbi. Ya lo vi. Es que quizás para empezar, ¿verdad? No entiendo qué es. Sorbi es como un helado, ¿verdad? Empecemos por la palabra sorbi. ¿Qué significa sorbi? Ahorita le digo. Teacher no es como un helado o algo así. No. Es como no. Una encuesta. Una es que hay un helado que se llama así sorbi. Encuesta. <risa> significa encuesta. Se llama Sunday. <risa> no, no, no. No, este, en el lado de Saritas tienen sorbi. Son ah. unos tubitos así, se llaman sorbi, en serio. Por eso estaba confundida yo. Qué rico. No. Uh -huh. <risa> No, 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 Sorby son como, unos, como los bolis de antes. Oh. Pero, ajá. Okay. Interesting. Vaya. Ah, pues aquí lo que va. Understand. Es encuesta, Sorby. Yes, now I got it. Uh, Sorby. Igual se pronuncia, solo que se escribe S-O-R-B-Y, Sorby. <ríe> ok, Sorby. De sor... Ok. Ah, de, sor... de sorber, no, verdad, sí, con la pajilla. Ajá. <ríe> Vaya. So, after checking the survey, you say, how satisfied are you with this product? Y el customer dijo, satisfied. Rate your opinion about the product's quality, very low quality, porque no había otro menos que se puso eso. The value of this product is poor. Would you continue using this product? No. So what do you think is the problem with the product? Ya lo entendí. Prácticamente el ejercicio nos está diciendo que realmente hay un problema en el producto, al resultado de la encuesta. Y nosotros tenemos que ver el por qué del, de, el producto sale evaluado mal y buscar la solución. Ok. Thank you, Tich. Tres horas más tarde. No problem. Y aquí podemos nosotros inventarnos cualquier producto para encontrar bien la solución. Sí. Ok. Ok. Alicia. David. Voy en camino todavía, perdón. Ah, oh, bye. Sí, bye. Ok. Pensemos en algo que ya hemos comprado y que... Ah, el valor no, del producto. Uh... Ajá, oh, excelente. Good. Oh, excelente. Vale, vamos. Vaya la número cuatro. We excelente. will continue. Uh -huh. eh, y en número four. Will you continue yes. to buy this product? Yes. Yes. I continue using the product for uh -huh. many, many, many years. <laughs> okay. Vaya. Hoy, la tercera. With information gate one compare web. Vaya, la primera pregunta sería: How was the customer experience? Uh -huh. How was. Customer. customer es cliente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Experience. Eh. 
sería is was satisfied, ¿verdad? Sí. It was satisfying. Uh -huh. Number two. Is the product a good one or a bad one? Yes. Bueno, para nosotros estuvo más excelente. ¿no? Sí. Is the product a good one or a bad one? Pues, the product is a good one. Okay. Sería uno. Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher, and number three, is, is the correct, the possible, the Possible problems, the product was very low quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a problem, definitely. Mm -hmm. product. In number two, they have most, this product is poor and very low quality. Uh, but in general, because all the all the survey is about the same product. So in general, what do you think is the problem? In number two or number three? Toda, todo es una sola encuesta. Uh -huh. Todas las cuatro preguntas son una sola encuesta. Entonces tienen que, que presentar el, el problema como un solo problema todo en general que describa las cuatro respuestas que ha dado el cliente. Ah. Teacher, o sea que no solo íbamos a contestar las preguntas. Ajá, pero en medio de esas preguntas está que cuál es el problema. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué problemas creen que tuvo el cliente con ese producto por el por lo cual es, se puso así como café, ¿verdad? Bueno, eso, ¿no? Bueno, así, ¿no? <risa> The problem was very low quality. Es segundo. Hello, hello. I see you call me. Sorry. Yes. I have a question. <laughs> okay. Uh, the question respond uh, about this first the first place or or a uh, qualification in the in the um I forget <laughs> qualification yes exactly <laughs> qualification and then uh, we respond in the first, uh, the customer experience was uh, dissatisfied. 
o disfari, disarify, perdón. Disarify. 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 Uh, it's about the product, and, and we will find the product is a tool for the for the value. <coughs> the, person feels the, is correct. the person feels it's paid too much. Yes. Mm -hmm. Parece, me parece. <laughs> <laughs> the quality ah, okay. is everyone. Yes. The quality is everyone. Yes. Number three. Uh, have a have a question. <laughs> have a question about <laughs> number three says. Uh, the value of the product is no, in the in the in the follow in the question. yes in the follow. What is about possible problems? The, po the what do you think happened? Ahí vamos a hacer el papel chapo. Exactly. What do you think happened to the customer? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we don't know when Ben. Uh -huh. Okay. So <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> what, yeah. Why is the customer angry? Why did the customer answer that so fast? My, my expensive product and uh, low quality and probably uh, dysfunctional, <laughs> dysfunctional product. Uh -huh. Malfunctioning. Malfunctioning. Yeah. Malfunction. Don't sí. Malfunction. There is a oh. mal malfunction. <laughs> it's malfunction. like a cell phone. <laughs> a cell phone. <laughs> like my cell phone. No, not work. <laughs> Like and you use the warranty. I use the warranty, but now yeah. if it gets damaged again, I have no more warranty. Uh. <laughs> Finished. Mm -hmm. Imagine. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a good, it's a good question. <laughs> it's a good answer for the number. <laughs> Están sacando la respuesta. Yo era a yo era a a costume. La veo que Luis es como teacher, mire, y esta respuesta está buena para que le diga. Ajá. Ajá. Ya se descubrió. In the exam, in the exam. Teacher, and this is correct. And the teacher says, no. <laughs> yes, the teacher says, the question is this. <laughs> yes. No. Miss. Tell me. Miss, if there is something I do not understand, it is, it's, it is to a G-Mine, a mic, and a product, or uh, make a comparison of how good a purchase or service I already got confused. It could be. Okay. You're thinking about the one, but you see the survey, right? The okay. customer uh, is present, 
the customer answered the survey. Imagine you were selling. ¿Qué puede haber estado vendiendo que fue normal? Un tipo de jamón, right? Just some ham. And then you say, okay, y han bajado la venta, right? Let's see what happened with the product. And you, the survey, and you pass the survey to the people, and the people start saying, uh, are you how satisfied are you with the product? Dissatisfied. 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 You know about the product. Ah, very low quality. So the quality of the product is terrible. And then you say, like, mm -hmm. and what about the value of the product? Ah, it's and mm -hmm. continue buying it. And the person says, no. So what do you think? happens with that product? What is happening with that product? Mm -hmm. What is the problem? Okay. Yeah. Is a service example? Is a service or uh, is a port? Can be a product, can be a service. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. And this one. <laughs> and the number three. Number three. The, the customer is uh, dissatisfied because people sell a uh, product. For a low quality and expensive, and probably don't function. Entendí. Uh -huh. Bueno, practiquemos entonces. Hi teacher. Hi teacher. Hi teacher. Ya se siente mejor. Dice que son buenos doctores, ustedes de plan. Ya. Sí, le, le vamos a dar descanso. Este, le voy a proyectar. De, de todo, con todo lo que me tomaba, me tomé tres pastillas. ¿En serio? Pero me tomé una vitamina también. Ok. Ah, o sea que es una cliente satisfecha. Ajá, no está como él. El... Yeah, because you're very good doctors, right? Ok. Um, si quieren, yo eh, leo la primera y ustedes le, leen la segunda. No sé si ya pueden ver mi pantalla. Sí, sí, yeah. sí. Ok. Eh, how what the customer experience if the experience is back, eh, the customer is not satisfaction. Ay, perdón, se me subió. Perdón, perdón. Aquí está. La segunda, si gustas, Edwin, Mauricio. Yeah. Is the product a good one or a bad one? The product is a bad one. Ok. Uh -huh. Ay, teacher, pensamos que había olvidado a nosotros. <risa> Yo no sé por qué. Ah, es que para acá venía y me llamaron del 4. Y me pasé. Fíjame. Entonces, tiene, los del 4 tienen la culpa. Los del 4. <risa> no, nosotros pensamos que, el, que se le había olvidado que no nos ha, ha jalado por, por la asistencia. No, ya lo voy a jalar. Es que estaba viendo que algunos todavía estaban preguntando. Ustedes ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Ready. Sí. Ready. Oh, no, pues. Let's go.
It's so very fast. Okay. A ver, a ver, a ver. Still missing couple. Vaya, I'm going to call you. Miss Aten. Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. No here yet. Ana. Ana no ha vuelto. Ana Alicia. Ana y Ana. Dice, ahí está, pero quizá ¿Ya? tiene problemas. <ríe> Riéndose está ya, le dice. <ríe> Ana, hello. ¡Ah! ¡Ya vio! Perdón, 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 dígame. Riéndose estaba. Yo <ríe> Present. Present, present, present. Carolina. Carolina. La hemos perdido. Ya? Present teacher. Ok, muy bien. Edwin. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Grace Mitchell. Isabel. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present. Juan José. Present. Karen. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Marina. Present teacher. Noé David. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Julia Alexandra. Present Miss. David. Present teacher. Vamos. Hoy oh, sí. Very good. Vaya. Vamos a ver. Let's go check. Uy. <laughs> Ay, no. Ya por poco y le doy clic en finalizar. Ya los iba a mandar para su casa. Vaya, <laughs> no. no. check. How satisfied are you with this product? It says. The client said, be satisfied. Satisfied. Right. satisfied. You the product and the client or the customer said, very low quality. The value of this product is poor. Would you continue using the product? And the customer said, no. Now let's see the question. How was the customer's experience? How was the customer's experience? The customer experience was dissatisfied. Was dissatisfied. Okay, it was dissatisfied. And is the product a good one or a bad one? The product a good one or a bad one? Yeah, the bad product one. is bad one. Bad one, right? It's a bad product. Now, what do you think are possible problems the customer had with the product? Mm -hmm. 
the value of the product is poor. Mm -hmm. The value value of the product is poor. Yeah, the, the product of the product is poor. The customer the customer with not continuation to consume consume consume. How do you say? Consume the product. Consume the product. The customer said definitely. I will continue using this product. Yeah. What do you think happened? Probably the cell phone doesn't work. <laughs> like my cell phone said, Luis. Yes, your cell phone do not work. And you dissatisfied with, with the. Oh, yeah. with the now it does. Now it does. But when I bought it, imagine. To tell you to tell you everything. The yes. touch, the cell phone has to be touched, right? Didn't work. Didn't so work. Doing this, <laughs> nothing happened because the touch didn't work. When I wanted to listen to a message, it didn't. <laughs> voice Don't listen. Voice <laughs> didn't found. Okay. It didn't connect. First, it didn't connect to Wi-Fi. <laughs> I went to the store and I said, listen, I cannot be only with that post to separate, to, to use it, right? I'm half time at home, half time out, so I need to connect to Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Then, they say, oh, okay, and they fixed it, right? Then it connected to two datos mm -hmm. and to Wi-Fi, but that was for K, a week. A week later, I had to take it back because it didn't connect to datos. <laughs> so, okay, so it didn't connect to internet. The touch didn't work. The voice message didn't work. And I don't remember what was another situation happened. For the a, headphone. <laughs> for a cell phone this way? No. <laughs> no more cell phone. <laughs> so once I, I told them, no, Never buy one cell phone of this brand. So imagine, <laughs> so I said, never buy a cell phone that brand anymore because it doesn't work. Yes. Okay, so for me, I will say, how was I, how did I feel about the product? Very Never. dissatisfied. Very dissatisfied. Very dissatisfied. Very dissatisfied. How I rate the product very low quality. The value mm. of the product very poor. I, I wanted another one, but they didn't want to give me another. They said no, we will see. No thanks. <laughs> Now it works, right? Now it works, but after it had to go to the workshop for about a mm. week and a half. And all that week and a half, I was without phone. <laughs> you have phone and half and no phone half. <laughs> no, I didn't have phone at all because it was in the store. Um, uh -huh. okay. All the time they were fixing, it was in the store. So it was with no <clears throat> So okay. I already told you the problem with my product. Mm -hmm. What problems do you think the customer who answered this survey had with the product? Probably the same, right? The product didn't work yeah. at all, at all, at all. Uh, at all, <laughs> the yellow British didn't work at all. Yeah. 
Okay. Now, oh, let's move. We're going to talk about May, May, and might. I just give my attention. When do we use? When do we use may? And when do we use might? Uh -huh. When do we use may? When do we use might? Like a permission, may I sit? Uh, may I go to the bathroom? May I drink water? Okay. And check. <clears throat> First of the cases, we use it when we are not sure about something in the present. Jack may be coming to see us tomorrow. So he may be coming or he may come. Oh dear, it's half past 10. We may be late. I'm not sure if I'm going to be late or not. And I may be late or we may be late. She's had, she has had no sleep. He may be tired. Maybe there is a possibility, right? There is a possibility that she feel tired. Also, as Anna was mentioning, to ask for permission, right? Or to give permission in a formal way. May I borrow the car tomorrow? Remember we were saying that to ask for permission, we can also use can. Do you remember? Yes. But can is no formal. Sí, pobre Ken, ese nació para ser informal. Okay, okay here the same, Ken is no formal. So may is formal. So say, may I go out? May we come a bit later? May I use computer? May I, cuando están en presenciales, may I go to the restaurant? I go to drink water. Yeah, may. No can. Porque can is informal. So you can use can to ask for permission, but that is informal. While may is formal. And then you can also use may to give permission. You may go now. You may come at 11 if you wish. You may come. You may come at 11 if you wish. You may, you may stay, right? Te puedes quedar. It's okay, no problem. So I'm giving permission, right? Now, when do we use might? We use might when we are not sure about something in the present or the future, like in the previous example, right? We said that we use may to talk about something in the present or future that we are not sure. If we are not sure. Entonces, en este context, using may to talk about something that we are not sure for the present or the future, we also have might when we are not sure about something in the present or future. I might see you tomorrow, maybe, right? I may see you tomorrow or I might see you tomorrow. It looks nice, but it might be very expensive. It may be very expensive. It's quite bright. It might not rain today. It may not rain today. So in this context, may and might are exactly the same, right? When we're talking about something that we are not very sure about the present or the future. For example, if I tell you, it might be cold tonight. Yeah, it might be cold. 
Oh, it may be cool. No difference, may or might, it's exactly the same meaning, see? But remember, the only difference that may can be also used for permission, pero might, no. Yeah? I cannot use might to give permission and I cannot use might to ask for permission. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> Any question? Mm -hmm. No. Como el could y el, el could y el, perdón, como el going to y el will. <laughs> Ajá. Pero la diferencia es que cuando usted usa will, usted sabe que hay un cierto porcentaje de posibilidad, no el 100%, ¿verdad? Pero sí hay mucha posibilidad de que, que algo pase. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, eh, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. Eso significa que hay mucha posibilidad de que lo vea. Okay. It will be very expensive. Y acuérdense que también eh, cuando yo hago una predicción con Will, en este caso con el, it's quite bright. It won't rain today. No podría usar Will en ese caso. It won't, tendría que ser, it's not going to rain. Porque el que ocupo para hacer una predicción cuando estoy así, que tengo algo obvio, es going to. El will lo usamos para una predicción cuando solo porque sí, como al principio de año, que se han fijado, que aparece un montón de gente haciendo predicciones de cosas que no, no se están basando en nada, simplemente se les ocurre qué va a pasar, qué va a pasar, y a veces aciertan y a veces no. ¿Verdad? Entonces ese es el caso de Will. Pero es, está haciendo una predicción hacia el futuro, pero no sabe si va a pasar o no. Cuando usted usa going to para hablar así del futuro, es porque está bastante seguro. ¿Sí? Entonces ocupa el, el going to, o se está basando en algo que ve, o en algo que oye, o en algo que sabe. Pero en este caso no, aquí estamos hablando de una posibilidad, ¿ya? Por ejemplo, anoche estuvo haciendo mucho calor. Right? It was very hot. But today, it might be cold. ¿Por qué digo might? Porque pueda que sí, pueda que no. Cuando usamos may o might, Existe un 50-50. ¿Sí? Puede que sí, puede que no. ¿Ya? It might be cold tonight. It might be hot tonight. So there is a 50% that it be cold or that it be hot. ¿Ya? Any question here? I want to show you this. For example, I was telling you, right? May and might are similar in meaning, unless we're talking about permission, that I can use may for permission, pero no might, okay? So you say, I may ask for a refund. So there is a possibility that I ask for a refund. I might ask for a refund, yes? You may buy at a different store. You might buy at a different store, so no difference. In this context of possibility, there is no difference. 
yeah? They may not provide a good service. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectation or it might not reach your expectation. Possibility, there is a possibility. She might want a refund on those units. Or she may want a refund on those units. They might complain about the service. They may complain about the service. We might ask to talk about the supervisor. He might not buy here, or he may not buy here. Yeah? Any question here, chicos? Yes, teacher. Como se traduce? We might ask to talk with the supervisor. We might ask. Podríamos pedir. Podríamos pedir hablar con el hablar supervisor. Con el supervisor. Podríamos pedir. Si se fijan, eh, cuando estamos usando may o might, el verbo va en forma base, ¿verdad? Pero si usted quiere usar un segundo verbo, como el caso de talk acá, vamos a usar el to, ask to. We might ask to talk to the supervisor. Yeah. Entonces, siempre que usted ocupa dos verbos en una misma oración, ya sea que el segundo eh, o el primer verbo va seguido por el to y el otro verbo en infinity, o puede ir también seguido por un ing. Pero eso cae en el segundo. For example, if you say, we might enjoy watching the movie. See, we might enjoy, enjoy the verbo en forma base. Let's We might enjoy watching the movie. See, entonces, si yo quiero ocupar dos verbos, el segundo verbo va a ir o así con to o con ing, dependiendo del verbo. Any other question? Yeah, yeah, no, no. No, easy. Possibility, right? Talking about permission and possibility. Puede que sí, puede que no. Okay, now let's work on this exercise. Exercise five. We are going to create sentences with the words provided. And may or may, may or might. Yes. So you say, he may not be satisfied. Yeah. He may not be satisfied. The warranty might not be longer. Warranty might not be longer. Yes. Remember that in some cases, you may, you may need something else to add, right? Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. How are you doing? About to finish? Ready, ready. Let's see, number one. He might not be satisfied. He might not. He 
might not be satisfied. Very good. What about number two? The warranty. The warranty need be longer. Might. Might be longer. Mm -hmm. The warranty might be longer. Okay. The service. The, the service might not be excellent. Okay, excellent. The service might not be excellent. You might uh, recommend it. Recommend it. Maybe it's a teacher. or You may recommend. Okay. You may recommend. What? What may you recommend? It's a product. Me. You may recommend a new product. Or you may recommend the new shampoo if you want to be like more specific. Mm -hmm. The new white teacher. The new? The new white example. The new white. Yes. White K. Example teacher in number three, nada, nada más decía. The white. Okay. Okay. What about number five? The waiter. I be in a hurry. Teacher, could you tell us again the pronunciation? May, might. May, might. might. Ah, because I said the waiter may be in a hurry. Yeah, no problem. Remember that at this point, may and might are the same. Ajá, uh -huh. me y might are the same. Sí, estamos hablando de algo que puede ser o no true para present. Recuerden, me y might are the same. Number six, Amanda. May not you? May not use K. The computer. Okay. Amanda may not use the computer. Yeah. Or might not use the computer. Tomorrow. Amanda might not use the computer tomorrow. Fíjense que a la número uno le podemos agregar algo. He might not be satisfied about the product. Yeah. He might not be satisfied about the, about the, the shoes that she bought, right? She might not be satisfied about the, 
yourself about the blush, you know, whatever, right? Any question here? No question, teacher. Right, check. Now, you're going to create a mini conversation where you are dissatisfied with a product and say what you may or might do about it, okay? So you say, hey, Anna, how are you? I'm fine. Tell me, what happened with the computer that you bought last week? Ah, terrible. Do you know what? Um, I'm dissatisfied with the computer. And then you start describing the problems that you may, that you may have with that. OK? I'm sending you to the rooms for five minutes and then I call you back. Try to join Chicago. Otra vez de nuevo. Aquí vamos de nuevo. Okay. A ver. Vamos a crear la conversación, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Me... Vale, pues esa, entonces yo le digo hi. Hi, está bien. Ahí está hablando de su compañerito. Hi. A Carolina no la miraba, Carolina. Ok, dice. Bien, aquí estoy. Uh, you will make a conversation. The, imagine you bought a product and you're not happy about it. De cualquier producto, ¿verdad? Que se me ocurre. No, 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 no. Opa, producto, lo hacemos. En el laptop. Un teléfono. Um, a no electronic product because <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's a coming. Can be food, can be a drink, can be whatever. Uh, Imagine uh, a new bowl, uh, a new bottle of coffee and the flavor that you expected is not the one that you got, right? So it right. can be any product. Hi, Carla. Hi. <laughs> how do you how do you feel about the 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 blouse that you bought last weekend? 
Ajá, entonces ya Carla le empieza a decir que está dissatisfied because the blouse is this and this. Ok. Ok. okay. Como que, hi, what do you think about the, the, the new coffee that we bought in the office? Right? Ok. Entonces le dije, why not? Le dije, why not? Eh, because is the signal is very low o, o too low o, o lento, como se dice. Too low. <ríe> too slow. Uh -huh. Y, y eh, the signal, oh. signal All my internet is not responsive. Sí, así. Vaya, y échele las culpas que está dissatisfied with the service. <laughs> ah, service. <laughs> Pienso que al utilizar el, el may o el might podría ser, I don't know, will be, might. No sé. it might be, if it might be a good idea to change it. To change, ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. O decir algo así como, pues no, no estoy, no sé si podría continuar con, con su servicio. If I might continue with the service, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh -huh. Yes, sure, it Bien, might cabal. be cappuccino, but not from McDonald's. Correcto, yes. Ok. Ana. Ahí me... le, va, le va a hacer drama a Ana. Guay. Guay. <risa> Pero así lo tiene que decir en la práctica. Guay. Ah, Guay. Claro. Don't you like it? Uh -huh. Ay, ay, uh... Aquí es así, ¿verdad? Me confundo. Sí, con el apóstrofe. Why don't you... Why don't you like it? Like. ¿Te acuerdas que nos di decía ahí because of the taste? Uh -huh. Because... Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Dale, responde vos. Because... ¿Y David cuándo? No, dale, ahorita... <risa> No, él ahorita está criando, así que no. Está conectando ahorita. Él está criando. Because qué era? Because of the taste. The taste. Oiga, Tiche, ¿cómo pronuncia? <risa> because of the taste. Ajá. Mm. Mira, ahora le voy a, ahora que la divida. May we offer you a one of the Wendy's? <laughs> no, the coffee cup or the Starbucks. I expected oh, I because I'm <laughs> <laughs> the <is> Starbucks. <laughs> coffee cup or <is> Starbucks? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> May we offer you one from Starbucks? <laughs> uh -huh, yes. De eso le da el bebé, ¿verdad? Para que no duerma, pero eso ya era para la noche, el pobre. No, eso tengo que tomar mi esposa y yo para <risa> aguantar. Um, ¿Qué era lo que decía David? David May, ¿qué? May we offer you. Ajá. Uh -huh. One from Starbucks. Repeat, please. One for Starbucks. Oiga, dice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm kidding. From, from Starbucks. Ah, uh, from. From Starbucks. Star, así se escribe, Starbucks. Starbucks. Yes. Yes. Ahorita se está haciendo y bien sabe cómo se escribe, pero ahí pasa. Yeah. <laughs> Con ese al final, Starbucks. Ah, bien, pregúntenle. <laughs> <laughs> La 
habla de esposa y le dice, mi amor, antes que vengas en el Starbucks, por favor. No, ya tiene, ya tiene la cafetera de Starbucks ahí. El café también. <risa> Ya me dieron ganas de comprar uno, ¿no crees? Y la pobre ya no le va a salir leche, sino que café. Va a ser café con leche. No, y lo peor de todo es que se van a quejar que el niño no se duerme y es porque el café ya bajó. Ya bajó a acabar. No, no le di café a su esposa, yo no sé si eso es cierto. Ya me puse a mentira. No, pero es cierto, lo que uno come ahí les baja. En serio. Sí, ahorita no, no ha tomado café la pobre. Cero brócoli, cero cosas que alteran porque a los bebés también les afecta. Cabal. Si ahorita hule con ella, yo me sacrifico. Toma <risa> pobre. <risa> sí, tiene uno doble, dice. Uno doble con cara de. ¿Cómo es uno sencillo con cara de doble, dice? <risa> uno sencillo con cara de doble. Para amortiguar el, la conciencia de ella. Okay, coming, coming, coming. Ready, ready. Vamos a ver. Falta. Uy, solo cuatro han vuelto. Okay, I'm going to call you to tell me present. Vamos a ver, Ana Alicia. Presente. Carolina. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Grace. Grace. Grace, Grace. No está Grace, ¿verdad? Isabel. Present teacher. Elías. Elías, vea José Alfredo. <laughs> Alfredo Elías. Está José Alfredo. Perdió. Juan José. Hello, present. Karen. Present, teacher. Hoy le toca a Karencita. Ok. Carla Lorena. Entonces, así como que hoy. Present. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? <ríe> Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Marina. Present teacher. No era bien. No era bien. Present teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Judy. Present, Miss. Present, teacher. Excellent. Pasha. Bueno, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. Tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Bye, Gabby.
ya se fueron todos. <ríe> Qué rápido. Ay, dicho. Ay, ¿qué me cuenta? Ay, que esto sí que es quebrazón de cabeza en inglés, sí. Es normal, ¿verdad? Pero. Ay, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Vaya, cuando usted lo está explicando, en el momento nosotros sí le podemos entender y el ejercicio. Ya cuando nos suelta, ya para que nosotros hagamos los ejercicios, ahí nos trabamos. Ay, no. Eso es normal. Uh -huh. Con la práctica es que se va. Por eso es que siempre se les manda hacer algo solito después. Para que se, así se, se, se apoyan. No, nos apoyemos. Ajá. A lo que han estado viendo o lo que hemos estado viendo en clase. Uh -huh. ¿Tiene alguna preguntita en particular de alguno de los temas que hemos visto, Karen? Es que, vaya, pues sí, porque la vez pasada fallé una pregunta, solo que no recuerdo. Y yo le estaba contestando que para, que, a ver, estaba una oración, ¿verdad? Y como era una pregunta, solo que no recuerdo, no sé si lo noté, como era una pregunta, teníamos que ocupar el, el TAS, pero yo estaba ocupando el IS. Entonces, Quizás esa, 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 esa es la, en sí la pregunta que tengo, que por qué nos equivocamos en, en no colocar ese el do o el das. Y nos vamos con el is, are you. No se acuerda de la pregunta. Ay, no, el ando buscando, dicha. No la tiene. No, no, no. no, sería mentirle. Bye. Le voy a dar una clave allí. Vamos a agregar aquí una. Por ejemplo, acá. Si usted, usted va a hacer una, una pregunta con el, con el acuérdese, la estructura es: Do you have a pet? Primero llevamos el auxiliar. ¿Cómo se llama? El auxiliary. ¿Verdad? Que siempre tiene que llevar mi pregunta. Y el verbo. Este es mi verbo. Do you have a pet? Si es tercera persona, does she like um, um, bears? Does she like hamburgers? Igual. El the verb en forma base, porque el cambio no cae sobre el verbo. Y tenemos el auxiliar, que es el que cambia, ¿verdad? Does she like hamburgers? Pero se fija, tenemos verbo. Pero cuando usted tiene su pregunta, tiene un verbo, eso significa que usted va a utilizar do o das. ¿Sí? Pero si en su pregunta, usted tiene, por ejemplo, un adjetivo. Entonces va a usar el verbo to be. Is she busy? Busy es ocupado. ¿verdad? Is she busy? Pues no tengo un verbo. Tengo un adjetivo. Y mi verbo. Es el verbo to be. Es el que yo voy a ocupar. A mi pregunta. Porque yo no tengo un verbo aquí. Entonces. Uh -huh. La pregunta es está usando, está haciendo no tiene un verbo, sino que tiene un adjetivo, tiene un lugar por ejemplo decimos are they at home entonces vamos a usar el verbo to be con lugares 
este es un lugar, no vamos a poner otros con otro. ¿Verdad? Yo voy a ocupar mi verbo to be con adjetivos, con lugares, con un noun también. Por ejemplo, si decimos, is he your brother? Your brother. El your no hay problema, ese es un posesión. Uh -huh. Is he your brother? Entonces, lo que usted tiene que tener cuidado es esto. Si la pregunta que usted está formulando lleva un verbo, eso significa que tiene que usar el auxiliar dudas. Ah, ok. Pero okay, okay. Lo que usted está formulando tiene un adjetivo, un lugar, un noun. Entonces, lo que usted necesita acá es el verbo tú. Y usted dice, are you busy? Are you happy? Are you hungry? Are they at home? Are they at school? Are they here? Are they uh, there? Is he your brother? Is he a doctor? Is he a teacher? Is he a nurse? Is he Pedro? Entonces, si yo voy a ocupar, si tengo, recuerde, adjetivo, lugar o un noun, voy a usar el verbo tu hijo. Ok. Yo tengo que usar, o sea, tengo un verbo en la pregunta, necesito un auxiliar. Definitivamente no puedo hacer una pregunta sin auxiliar. Uh -huh. No, pues sí. <ríe> Más que comprendido. <ríe> sí, es que sí. Pues sí, ya lo entendí. Pues sí, ya. Ah, es, es como una, una clave para, más fácil para poder para comprender más fácil cuándo sí y cuándo no. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, ya le capté bastante. <ríe> ok, perfecto. Bueno, no sé si tiene sí. alguna otra preguntita, Karen. No, piense que esas dudas sí la tenía, esa, esa era más que todo, y las otras, pues obviamente en el camino irán saliendo. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Bueno, muchas gracias. Entonces, nos vemos. Nos vemos mañana. Mañana, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Estoy en ese que hoy es viernes. <risa> Thank you, teacher. Todavía, todavía. Dale. Gracias. Dale. Que descanse, que siga mejor y nos vemos mañana. Ay, gracias, gracias. <risa> Good night. <risa> Good night.